Chicago Italian beef. Starts off with excellent uh, Italian beef. Beautiful. It's a big chunk, either inside round or bottom round. Right. Seasoned. Nice. And then baked for four to six hours. Nice, so slow nice and, and low. Then we slice it very thin. Beautiful. Then it's dropped into this fantastic au jus right here. It's a nice little au juice. Nice. The juice. The East Coast with Gaudu. the juice. Tony's with the juice. So now your Italian beef is, uh, you're having it just wet, right? No, I'm gonna do a splash. Splash, right? Well, hold on a second, unless, unless, unless it's raw. Well, let's, let's go through it. Uh, Chicago beef. Okay, hold either. on a second. Let's go through it. Let's go ready at? Either, this is the French bread. Nice. Nice Toronto bread. Salt what bread? Toronto, Toronto bread? Toronto. No way. Or, Gonella, the two Italian beef breads. That's it. Well, because we're from Toronto. You're from Toronto. Right. This is Toronto. Toronto. Beautiful. <laughs> They're from Campania, Italy. They're bread makers. Nice. About 100 Beautiful. years in Chicago. So if you're gonna get a Chicago beef original, you gotta dip it, the whole thing goes into water, right to the au right? right? You're having a splash. Yeah, so splash is just that. Splash, I'm gonna show you, you load up the beef on it like that. Beautiful Italian beef. It's nice. All right. Okay, beautiful, hold it right okay. there. One second, with Tony, out of the park, beef and dog. We heard the uh, son study culinary, come here, come here, come he's here. He's a finance major, come on, he's back finance in the family business. So we're with Tony. Now the bread is uh, from... Uh, it's Toronto bread. Toronto bread. And the family's from Campania, Italy. Com hey, we know where that is. Yeah, right, I'm from Calabria. Ah, oh, Maron. Maron. Of course, yeah. Okay, so get in here, what's your name? I'm in here, Mike. Uh, Mike, he, okay. He's so, the ugly one in the family. The ugly one, and I'm in the middle, like I'm a, <laughs> a Frank sandwich here. Go ahead. All right, Go. so right now we have the beef. You guys saw us put the beef on nice. it, on the Toronto bread. Now he doesn't want it dipped, okay, Why which dip? we should dip it. Then break the rules. Let's, Let's dip, dip it. it. Now, dip it. this is dipped, okay, guys? You need a nice Ooh, tongue there. Go like, uh, take the beef, uh, and you're going to dip it. No life jacket, no life jacket required. That's right? a real Italian nice. beef, guys. Beautiful. All right, okay. now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the paper. Now we're going to open it up for you. And usually Chicago beefs, you get a choice of mozzarella, hot peppers, jardinera, or the sweet peppers. Right, so we're gonna go sweet peppers. This is sure. sweet peppers right here. Put some in. Nice. Like that. Sweet peppers, again, that beef has been slow roasted four to five to six hours, and then was shaved thin, and yeah. then kept in a nice warm uh, area. We revitalized it with that jus. Yep. Beautiful. Any hot peppers on it? Any hot jardinera? A little bit of hot, yeah, a little bit of hot jardinera. And we that jardinera that we were making here, that's sort of that, that This is hot jardinera. Nice. It's a nice Italian relish. Beautiful. Relish. Top Italian relish. Well, wow, let's skip that word relish, guys. Jardinera relish. Rewind. Tell your dad here. Any cheese? Yes. No, no cheese. No cheese, right? You know what? We're going to go no cheese. No cheese. Is, right? that, is that bad or what? No, I think it's beautiful. Okay, it's a beautiful thing. No beautiful cheese. Thing, man. So that's right. let's go. your Italian beef. Now yeah. we're going to wrap it. Right. And because it's dipped, let me wrap it. We're gonna let, let, it me wrap. Wrap. let me wrap it. Let me wrap it. Let me wrap it. I know. All right. Start the, gonna wrap so we're going to wrap it. Nice and tight here. Boom. Boom. We're gonna wrap. Uh, he's like, hey, we're gonna do one of these in Toronto. We're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna because in Toronto we love double wrap. Ah, double wrap. Now what? What can I cut this thing? There's Boom. a knife right there. Get that first place. Now we're gonna show the inside of it, right? Ready? So, not at an angle. Uh, Why not? Okay, go ahead. It's your sandwich. Okay, okay. And are you kidding me? Look at that. Come Beautiful. On. Okay. Wait till you taste it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Awesome. That's on Beautiful. us, man. Beautiful. Enjoy it. Go for it. You got it? Delicious or what? Shake Shack in Chicago. Right across from the Millennium Park, the bean, they, they call it the bean. I'm having their Shake Shack special double lettuce, double tomato, double pickle. Their crinkly fries, Yukon Gold. Uh, I opted for the fountain root beer. Still got the double half and half. It's like an organic lemonade and an iced tea. Shake Shack, Chicago. Who's hungry?
Okay, I'm still hungry. We're going for a hot dog. Pretty simple here at the uh, Shake Shack. Simple little hot dog. We're just gonna run a little bit of mustard on that. Like it plain and simple. Ketchup for French fries. Crinkly fries here at the uh, Shake Shack. Whoa! Spasty ketchup. Because I'm still hungry at the Shake Shack. Perfect. Right donuts in Chicago, the place to have a donut. Beautiful yeast donuts, warm to the touch. Look how nice this is. So today I ordered a beautiful glazed donut. I mean, look at that, how beautiful it is. So light, sweet, full of part goodness. Great food experiences in Chicago from your Italian dip sandwich, deep dish pizzas, to classic Italian, to donuts. Do you write donuts, Chicago? Uh, he's been around since 1971. Uh, four locations, four locations, uh, Chris in Chicago. Yeah. And uh, not only can you eat in his locations, he ships worldwide. Everything's made from scratch. Wisconsin cheese, uh, butter crust that he's famous for. And we got Chris here that's going to show us how it's all done. Guys, kind of through the middle first. It's pre-cut downstairs in the kitchen. Yeah. We we'll have to cut it again because once it heats up. It melts back in. Yeah. Perfect. And so it's, uh, it takes about, about a half an hour, 40 minutes to 30 to 45 minutes. And we've actually chosen the um, the Lou Malinati's uh, a classic with the butter crust. Can you describe the butter crust? What's the butter crust like? It's like all butter, like you can taste the difference. You can actually taste the difference with the butter crust. Wow, it's a lighter. And we actually use the, um, we're uh, having our sausage crumbled on this one. Yeah, it's a sausage patty. Classic. It's all like together. Perfect. Okay, good stuff. Lou Malinati's. Uh, in Chicago, four locations, uh, 1971. We're gonna have it now. Perfect. Blue Malnati's, Chicago. There's that thick crust. It's actually a thick pizza. And what really makes it Chicago deep dish is that it has a wall. It's a pizza with a wall. It's really, re it's a pizza that's really recommended to be eaten with a knife and a fork. Uh, a butter crust. They call it butter crust. Wall. 
edge, thicker crust, almost like a cake style, crunchy crust, layered with Wisconsin cheese, plum tomatoes from California, I'm guessing Stannis last tomatoes, uh, a fennel Italian sausage on top of the cheese, and then real plum tomatoes on top with Parmesan, so uh, Parmesan. So, ooey gooey Wisconsin cheese, uh, sausage, and that's why you have to kind of cut it like a true pie. And it breaks it, the crust. That's why they're talking about using knife and fork with this pizza. I mean, look at it. Right? Not your typical pizza. Crunchy crust, crunchy bottom. I mean, you actually taste it, it has texture. Lots of cheese, a layer of that sausage, and plum tomatoes. Uncooked, fresh California plum tomatoes. Blue Mill Natties, 1971.